extremely important. <laughs> um, we're going to have to have everybody mentally uh, focused, uh, just as well as physically focused, um, all the way one through nine, ten, how many we have, uh, all the way down to our freshmen and um, people who may not get to play as much. Uh, we're really going to need them to be focused because, you know, if someone gets in foul trouble, which we're hoping that doesn't happen, um, when coach calls your name, you're going to have to be ready off that bench. So um, teamwork is going to be a key ingredient to getting this win this weekend. When you have, I mean, you could play them as many as four times this year. So what is what does the first game mean? What will that tell you? Um, I think it's going to set the tone for the rest of uh, the season and when we play them because um, we know how physical they are and obviously they're number one and people are trying to beat them, but um, we're not backing down from anything. And I think we kind of still have some unfinished business from uh, the way last season ended and um, it wasn't the way that we wanted to, but we know we can compete with them ultimately because we made it as far as they did last year. We were the last two teams standing, and um, um, our goal is to get back there this year, and we're going to have to go through them in order to win a national championship. So you guys haven't backed away. You guys mentioned them before the season. I've heard Jeff mention them during practices this year. How big is this game? Oh, it's a big game. Um, you know, I, I think uh, people can say all they want, oh, it's just another game, it's just another conference game, and it is, but um, ultimately – that's the team that everybody's trying to beat this year. It's just like Baylor was the last couple years. Um, everybody's trying to go through them in order to get to a national championship. Um, to have that trophy at the end of the year, you're going to have to go through UConn. And obviously, um, they have the top players and, and the best coach in the country right now. But um, like you said, um, we're ready for, for a fight and ready to go up there to win. He's a better coach than Jeff Ward? No. You just said he's the best coach in the country. Well, I mean, I'm saying what people would say. <laughs> no, no, don't twist my words around. I, I, I would put Coach Walls up against Gino any day. <laughs> what, do you think UConn players, coaches, do you think they think Louisville can beat them? Um, no, probably not in their minds. In their minds, they're thinking, you know, hey, we're the best team. We've proven it. We've won national championships. It's it's a it's a legacy program. Um, they can't have the mentality of, oh, uh, Louisville's going to beat us. So, obviously, no. I don't think that they think that we can beat them. But um, we've got to have that mentality going in that we can. Um, and hopefully they get a little full of themselves and think that they have it um, in the bag. But um, I don't think they definitely go into it thinking, oh, you know, they can't beat us um, or, or we can beat them. So, it's... I mean, I'm not speaking on their behalf because I don't, obviously I don't know what they think and, and how they prepare for games, but um, I don't think that they think we can beat them. There hasn't been one single game with UConn that's been determined within single game. What can you guys do to kind of just uh, to exploit some of their weaknesses? Yeah, well, um, I think we just learned from that. You know, we just got out of film 10 minutes ago, and we went through some things from the national championship game last year, um, and not all the good things that they do. We looked at uh, bad uh, turnovers that they've made, bad possessions on offense, certain players that aren't good on defense. So um, I think we just have to keep the game close at the beginning. I think the beginning of the game is going to tell you a lot whether we can um, uh, stay with them and, and beat them at the end. But, um, you know, we can't panic. I think they I think they use their pressure in their transition game to get points. And once they get going, if you don't stop that, then they try to um, just cause a team to panic. Because once you see the score start running up, obviously teams think of, okay, I've got to get this shot. I've got to hit a three right off the bat. But coaches just focus them with us. Um, use the shot clock because they don't, they don't have a lot of players coming off the bench. So if you make their – players more tired um, and, and get them to slow down a little bit, then I think that works to our advantage. Do you think they're 